After a string of Supreme Court setbacks, Democrats wonder whether Joe Biden's White House is capable of urgency moment demands. <laughs> the answer just may surprise you. <laughs> or, or will it? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. What story is this from CNN? Oh, I thought it was from No Shit Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's the story. I, I'll give you some of the story. I've been, I got some, some of the story, right? Uh, Deborah Messing was fed up. The former Will and Grace star was among dozens of celebrity Democratic supporters and activists who joined a activists pretty, who joined a call with the White House aides last Monday to discuss the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade. The mood was fatalistic, according to three people on the call, which was also organized by the advocacy group Build Back Better Together. <laughs> Get the f out of here. Get the F out of here. Deborah Messing is fed up. That is bad news. There's an old saying in politics. I don't know if you know, Kurt. It says, so goes Deborah Messing, so goes the nation. I've heard that. That's a real, that's a, yeah. It's predicted the last few ele <laughs> elections. This just in, it finally dawned on celebrities that they were conned. <laughs> uh, pothead comedians knew this seven years ago. Messing said she's got she'd gotten. <laughs> ah, how do you like that for the present perfect past plural? <laughs> Don't let your participle dangle and your gerund. Huh? <laughs> Messing said she'd gotten. She had gotten. That's what that is. That's what that says. Joe Biden elected and wanted to know why sh she was being asked to do anything at all. <laughs> Yelling that there didn't seem a point to voting. She was yelling. That's what I got in trouble for doing. For yelling. Now they're yelling at the White House. I just did it on uh, on a Zoom show. They're they, guys, they, what? They, guys, we're not building back better together right now. Lower your, <laughs> lower your voices. <laughs> lower your voices. <laughs> Uh, others wondered why the call was happening. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Deborah Messing was the one who got Joe, Joe Biden elected. Did you? I was <laughs> I was wondering how did Joe Biden get elected? Turns out Deborah Messing. The messing bump. That's it. I'm not messing around. Uh. More like the messing link. Am I right? Come on. <laughs> that afternoon, after that phone call, participants received a follow-up email with a list of basic talking points and suggestions of Biden speech clips that they should share on TikTok. That says Tiki Stock. I know. I, I misprinted. <laughs> that was me. I had to type, oh. I had to type that. I misprinted that. Oh, I, so I do I, like Tiki Stock. I wish that was how they said it. <laughs> tiki Stock. They said, hey, could you share these on Tiki Stock? <laughs> Not TikTok? No, Tiki Stock. Yeah. <laughs> so that they're now saying, so it's just amazing that they're now saying what we said too frick. Well, I've been saying since 2016. But now that celebrities are saying it, it 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 all of a sudden it matters. They have more to say. The call three days after the decision eliminating federal abortion rights encapsulates the overwhelming sense of frustration among Democrats with Biden. It offers a new window, <laughs> a new window <laughs> into what many in President's party <laughs> describe as a mismanagement permeating the white. We get a new all. Oh, all I had was that old window that said... <laughs> <laughs> that so Joe Biden was demented and it's the worst presidency in my lifetime. Worse than Trump's. That's how bad Joe Biden's presidency is. Worse than Trump's. <laughs> but now we have a new window. 
There's a new window, you guys. Is it Deborah Messing? Yeah. Now, now there's a new way to look at how shitty they are. When you look through the lens of grace from Will and Grace, you see. <laughs> so the the top top Democrats complain the president isn't acting with, or perhaps even capable of. <laughs> The urgency the moment demands. That's their way of saying he's demented. That's their way of saying that. Um, The president who campaigned on putting America back together again after four years of deep divisions appears to have stopped trying. (laughs) (laughs) He also appears to have stopped breathing. I mean, if you ask me, am I right? Come on. Come on. He's when did a, he start trying? When did he start trying? Hey, <laughs> and he's only a year and a half into his presidency, and CNN has already given up on it. Even the Democrats are like, he's not even trying. I like how this is the one where they draw the line, not any of the things that happened immediately. Not, yes, none of the things, the $2,000 checks, the whole, no, nothing. Uh, here, I don't know if you could read this. It says activists doing some Herculean lifting in that first paragraph because they <laughs> <laughs> calling Deborah Messing an activist. That's a, pretty sure she, actual activists get mass arrested or constantly harassed by the same cop unions who did the murder that prompted the activism. What well said. Class war room clock, seven minutes to midnight. Platitudes with attitude then says no celebrity overstates their importance quite like Deborah Messick. <laughs> These are That's all like, in a row. These are all in a row, by the way, underneath that. Go ahead, Kurt. What are you going to say? I was going to say that Deborah Messing being upset about this is like Crosby, Stills, and Nash <laughs> taking their music off Spotify. <laughs> Who gives a shit? The vapid celebrities are fed up. That's some funny shit. So those are right in a row. Like you don't have to go searching. They're all of those <laughs> are like that underneath there. So that's pretty. It's pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Slide nine says R O F L. That stands for rolling on the floor while <laughs> laughing. <laughs> These were the most insufferable people in 2020, lecturing everyone they couldn't nominate Bernie Sanders because unlike Joe Biden, he couldn't get things done. Remember they said that about Bernie Sanders? <laughs> Bernie Sanders can't get things done. He's going to have Republicans to work with. Joe Biden knows how to work with Republicans. Biden got things done, just nothing that you wanted. That's right. Nothing. And uh, what did they say when Biden won? The adult diapers are back in the room or something like that. (laughs) Something like that. (laughs) Hey, come on. (laughs) The country didn't elect Joe. Oh, now here's the apologists, right? So this is a guy who's working in Biden's administration. This is what they say to that phone call by. Where the even the Hollywood celebrities are figuring out that I don't think Joe Biden, the Democrats are ever going to do anything. (laughs) This is a so this guy, Cedric Richmond who works in Biden's administration, he said this. He said the country didn't elect Joe Biden because they wanted a Democratic Donald Trump to go out there every day and divide the country more. Which country is that? Ukraine? What do you mean? (laughs) (laughs) Democrats attacking Joe Biden are scapegoating the president or distracted and not focusing on what they should be focused on. And that'd be that'd be Joe Rogan and Tucker Carlson, right? <laughs> That's what they should be focused on. Joe Rogan, Tucker Carlson, anything else I'm missing? How about J- Jimmy Dore? Anything else? He saved democracy once by beating a tyrant. How was Donald Trump a tyrant? He couldn't even get his own driver to drive him to the Capitol. How was he a tyrant? He's doing it again, but he doesn't do it by beating his chest. No, he does it by beating your chest. (laughs) He does it by shitting his pants. That's right. (laughs) (laughs) The, The repulsive, corrupt system. So he saved democracy once by beating a tyrant, and he's doing it again. 
Really? You mean he's beating a repulsive, corrupt system that only serves oligarchs? <laughs> I don't think that's what he's doing. <laughs> the attacks by oh wait, uh, the attacks Biden is facing now are the same foolishness that got us Donald Trump. So if you ever try to push your politician towards a policy position you like, that is not acceptable because you're helping the other guy. That's he said the attacks Biden is facing now are the same foolishness that got us Donald Trump. No, the same foolishness that got us Donald Trump was Barack Obama kicking 5.1 million families out of their homes while making sure the Wall Street people got their bonuses while then not giving us health care, but a right wing health care plan that was a giveaway to big pharma and the health insurance companies. That's what gave you Donald Trump, not criticizing Hillary Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> he did his part. He pretended he was going to do things, and now it's your <laughs> job to pretend that he did something. So I'll read that again to you. The attacks Biden is facing now are the same foolishness that got us Donald Trump. Hillary wasn't good enough. She's not fighting hard enough. That's not gar that was not foolishness. Those are accurate critiques. That's I didn't what say got she it. wasn't good enough. I, didn't I said say, she sucks. Yeah. <laughs> what I said was she's terrible. I didn't say she wasn't good enough. I say she was the worst candidate in the history of our country. <laughs> That's what got us Donald Trump. And that got us Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, and Amy Coney Barrett. Case closed. <laughs> We're sealing the documents wow, on so, this one. Wow. So it was, so it was the critics. Wow. People. Wow. So don't Jesus blame the Christ. don't blame the people with actual power. Blame the people who don't have any power who criticize power. <laughs> Can we reopen the case? No, it's closed. Wow! Open and shut. That's it. That's see, Deborah Messing. You're the one who got us. You're going to get us another Trump. So right there in your face, Deborah Messing. Put it in your needle and Botox it. I guess there's two bad bad redheads now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Susan Sarandon and Deborah Messing. And Deborah Messing. The final is that then you hear this was a tweet. President Obama was the last high ranking Democrat who understood how to do his job. No, he he understood. This, this is, is not, not a compliment. <laughs> yeah. And I'm willing to bet it's because he was under the age of sixty. I don't I don't even so how is that I don't get that I should I took that as his job of putting the pretty face on imperialism yeah. that's how I took it but. Barack Obama's job was to put a pretty face on the horrible things the capitalists and oligarchs were doing the military industrial complex the war machine and Wall Street were doing and that's what he did and that's uh, Donald Trump didn't change his policies didn't change from Barack Obama's much at all uh, they just had he just put an ugly face on all the horrible stuff Barack Obama was doing, like deporting more Hispanics than all the presidents combined since 1890. And so they couldn't have a white guy who spoke outwardly racist uh, in racist ways uh, that to doing that. They have to have a, a sweet talking black guy do that. You get it, right? They couldn't have Donald Trump kick five million people out of their homes while making sure Wall Street got a... They had to have a sweet-talking black guy do that. You get it, right? I, I hope you get it if you're watching this show because most of the people don't get it. Most of the people say stuff like Barack Obama was the best president in their lifetime <laughs> because they don't know anything. We're going to Chicago, Sacramento, San Diego, Bakersfield. See you there. Go to JimmyNorcomedy.com for a link for all our tickets. Thank you.